Not too long ago, I visited Spokane and did a factory tour of the JK Boots facility. If you wanna see that video, I have a link in the description down below, but prior to my visit, I tried out the JK Climber. It's the most durable and rugged work boot I've ever tried personally. The only problem is that I'm not an arborist, I'm not a line worker, so I basically never really got to wear them around. I wanted to get a pair of JKs that fit my lifestyle a bit more, something a bit more light, a little more flexible, but still tough as nails. The guys at JK, they recommended that I try out their OT boot, so I did. And here are my thoughts. While the OT might be JK's lightweight work boot, it's still a total beast. I picked up my OT in the redwood color, which I love. JK boots have a unique look because they use smooth leather on the upper and then a rough out leather on the lower. That's what they call them, uh, but it's like smooth as quarters. And then this is the vamp, it's rough out, so different terms. The idea here is that the rough out takes the brunt of the beating while the smooth leather allows your pant leg to slide more easily up and down so they're not catching or bunching up. This gives the boot a distinctive look. So the OT, it's an eight inch boot with five eyelets, five speed hooks, and a pull loop, as well as a fully gusseted tongue made with a soft pebbled leather. The JK OT is made with eight to nine ounce Seidel oil tan leather, and this is purely USA made. A lot of cheaper work boots use three to four ounce leather. I'd say a good pair of work boots might use five or six ounce leather. A great pair of work boots, that's gonna use seven to eight ounce leather. This is kind of like thickness and weight. And you can kind of guess where I'm going with this. The fact that JK uses an eight to nine ounce leather is awesome. And despite the leather being so hefty, I found that the break-in on these JKs isn't bad at all, even for the climber. As for leather care, JK does ship a bottle of Obanoff's leather oil with their boots, which I think is a really cool gesture, but I don't really think this type of leather needs much care at all. Personally, I'm not gonna condition my OT Tees, at least not for probably a few years, honestly. Given that it's oil town rough out and I'm not really routinely getting these boots muddy or wet, the leather is gonna stay conditioned for years on its own. But for you, if you're harder on your boots, then oiling them down with Obanoffs isn't a bad idea, though it will darken the rough out considerably. The sole here is really what defines the OT. Of course, you have a veg tan leather insole inside here, gotta have that. But instead of the leather midsole, like you would see on the other JK boots, they use what's called a lineman shank, as it's kind of sort of like a half midsole that is up to to the forefoot, and I'll get a zoom in on this. Effectively, this basically acts as a half midsole, so you get solid support in your heel and arch, but you get a lot more flexibility at the ball of your foot. Beneath that leather half midsole, or lineman shank, there's a thin rubber midsole that basically evens out the platform of the boot, and then it's finished with a single piece Vibram lugged outsole. The heel is a block style rubber heel, which is much more shock absorbent than a leather stacked heel. So a lot of guys find these more comfortable for their lower backs in particular. The OT features double row stitch down construction around here, which is water resistant and also recraftable. Another cool thing that JK does with their work boots is they actually screw the outsole into the midsole, which I think, I mean, you, you never notice that from the outside, but it is cool to like look at the bottom of your boot and see a bunch of screws in there. I think that's awesome. Fit and sizing with JK is pretty straightforward. If you know your Brannock size, it's even easier. Let's just say you don't know your Brannock size. Just take your regular sneaker size, AKA your Brannock size, and subtract one full number from that. So if you're a size 11 in sneakers, you'd order a size 10 in JK boots. If you want more information, JK has a full sizing guide on their site that's pretty helpful. So I would just go there and follow those instructions. That's probably the easiest way of finding out your true size. A lot of people talk about how tough it is to break in Pacific Northwest work boots. While I've had my share of struggles breaking in like whites, nicks, uh, my two pairs of JKs, they weren't bad at all. The climber, it was a bit tougher because of that thick leather midsole, but the OT, it didn't give me any problems at all. In fact, when I picked my OTs up from the factory, I put them on and I walked back to my hotel in them, which is about three miles away. And then I wore them all day the following two days. And I think I had a minor sore spot on my big toe, but that was it. And that was the entire break-in period. So considering how thick and sturdy the leather is here, I'm really impressed with how comfortable the JK OT is right out of the box. The JK OT is a fantastic combination of the super durable PNW work boot style, but with a few alterations to make it light, flexible, and easy to wear for 16 hours straight. It's my favorite work boot. I've tried other top of the line work boots, and for my purposes, they were actually a bit too much. That said, there's definitely a place for those boots because a lot of dudes work more difficult jobs than boot reviewer who occasionally chops bamboo in the backyard with a machete. If you wanna check out my JK factory tour video, check out this video right here.